What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about Zoss finally adding the option to hide pets while in towns. This is something that the community has asked for and asked for. People, you know, used to be upset when winged twilights and warden bears and just, you know, your regular non-combatant pets were in the way. But now you add assistants and companions to the mix. And certain areas in the game can be very discluttered with players and all the stuff following them around. It causes issues in certain areas. You can't get to tables and click on them like for crafting tables. It seems to cause lag on older gen consoles. It doesn't seem to be as bad on PS5 to me as it did on PS4, but it still just causes a lot of issues in general, no matter what platform you play on. And in update 36, Zoss is finally going to add a way for us to be able to hide our pets. This is a new feature will be available in your settings to allow you to hide other pets, other players' pets, uh, pretty much summon class ability pets like winged twilights, warden bears, vanity pets, assistants, and companions around certain high traffic objectives in game. This specifically includes things like your daily crafting writ boards, your daily crafting writ turn in crates, and your basic crafting station. So mainly those main towns where everybody goes, goes and does their daily writs is usually the place that all of the clutter from the pets, assistants, and companions seems to be a big issue. It says your own pet will not be hidden if this option is turned on. And if a player whose pets are hidden gets into a duel or combat while near some of these affected objectives, the pets will actually appear. So it's not going to completely get rid of them. So if they get in combat or they get around you know, a, a duel with another player, these pets will still actually show up in some of these areas. Also, the setting can be found within the gameplay menu, then toggling limit followers in town. And of course, this is an optional feature they said that you can kind of turn on or off at your own discretion. So this was in the public test server patch notes uh, that just came out recently for update 36. And it was something that I think a lot of people are going to be happy to hear because that fire song update, update 36, people were kind of curious exactly what was going to happen considering all the issues that a lot of the community had with update 35. But it seems so far, and I'm going to make some other videos about some other things within Update 36, but uh, it seems so far it's going to be like a lot of quality of life changes. And this was one quality of life change that I think 99% probably of the community really wanted to see because this has been a big topic uh, of conversation in the community for a good while now. The ability to just be able to hide pets so you don't have to you know, see all the clutter and all the mess all the time when you're in towns doing your writs and whatnot most days. So anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Are you happy to hear that Zoss has finally kind of listened to the community when it comes to adding in an option to hide pets in towns? Like I said, it's not going to be everywhere. And of course, it's not going to be a permanent thing. Because once again, if you start getting a duel or you get into combat, those pets will appear. But at least maybe it will relieve a little bit of strain on the servers and a little bit of strain probably on your eyes uh, and, and the ability to get to tables and just the, the stress of all that stuff being in the way when you're trying to do your crafting writs every day. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the new ability coming with update 36 to hide pets in town. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.